By now, I think you're all well aware of the hilarious tragedy of bullyhunters.org and all the hilarious cringe that goes along with it. But what I thought would be an interesting take, because I do have some things to say about it, but I didn't necessarily want to rehash everything that's already been said. I mean, basically, we all know that uh, the Bully Hunters was some sort of ideologically driven uh, Me Too backwards funding uh, marketing ploy that now uh, just about everybody is trying to not get caught with the hot potato. Uh, what this project was, was stillborn. It came out of whatever crazy mother's womb, dead. Um, and we're all here now to kind of just laugh at its corpse. Now, what I find interesting is the coordination or almost the dominoes falling of everyone involves public disavows. And I've put together what looks like a pretty close timeline as all the chips fell on Saturday of everybody disavowing from Vetagear to Diverse Gaming Coalition to Steel Series. And what we need to still know is who paid for this? Who's really behind this? And if Gamergate taught the internet anything, it, it certainly armed uh, them with the superpower of uh, weaponized autism, and they will find out which one of these people are lying. So let's start out with uh, Vertigear. This was yesterday at 1054. Okay. Last month, we were approached with a campaign to bring visibility to the seriousness of cyberbullying. Bully hunters at the time. We felt it was a worthy cause for us to engage as we believe the issue is pertinent and one that runs alongside the expanse of technology, online gaming, and the study of mental health. While we understand that much of what was construed as bullying by many is rather just banter, not unlike that what you may see in competitive environments in the offline world, we, what we perceive to be online bullying manifests itself uh, in a much more direct, vitriolic, threatening, and harmful manner. Although online games are equipped with tools to shield players from dialogue, the damage is often done before these tools are used, and for the mentally vulnerable, whether they are male or female, interesting that you didn't address any male uh, issues here, but whatever, that's not uh, uncommon these days. It was our hope to shed more light on this matter and work towards the environment that would cater to our fellow gamers in distraught. When we were approached with the background goals of bully hunters, we put our faith in the cause and organizers. Notice how they don't say who the actual organizers are. Nobody seems to do that. However, the information we received before the start of the campaign not only contradicted the execution of it, but we discovered that after the fact that it was sorely lacking. Our biggest mistake was not thoroughly vetting the details of the campaign to ensure that the execution would be up to the proper standards expected. And we apologize for that and the horrendous result of this event. <laughs> okay, so everything after that was kind of general marketing speak. Next up in the timeline was the statement from Diverse Gaming Coalition. At the end of 2017, we were approached by a marketing company who told us about the initiative with SteelSeries to promote anti-bullying. So there's an interesting thing here. It seems like SteelSeries and Bully Hunters are the, one that, the ones that are truly linked. Um, this initiative would turn out into what is now known as Bully Hunters, which was a great project at first, and it described... And it was described aligned with our message. As the months went by, not much was said about the project until dates for a live stream were given to us. Leading up to the quote, live stream, <laughs> got him. Many things were unclear, but we put our faith in the hands of the coordinators to make this happen. Unfortunately, things turned sour before the live stream even happened. Various tweets show wrongdoing by host Zombie Unicorn, which are actions that Diverse Gaming Coalition do not condone, disavow, although she was not solely to blame for the Bully Hunters initiative as a whole. After the live stream, it seems that the Bully Hunters is still an initiative they wish to keep pursuing. Who is they? They. 
However, this initiative does not align with our mission and our vision statement as nonprofit. Because of this, we are deciding as of now, we are dropping as a partner from the Bully Hunters Initiative. We believe in their intentions as a company to promote social good, but we do not think they approached it in the best way possible. We will continue, blah, 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 blah. And there, in fact, they were still listed on the website, um, on the bullyhunters.org website before it was down. Um, they've even, they immediately responded when somebody said, you're still listed on their website. Um, and they said, hello, uh, we contacted the correct people to take it down, but gave the benefit of the doubt since it's the weekend. Fortunately, the we website is now down. <laughs> oh, they took the whole website down. Hoo-wee. Now let's follow up with last to the party, the Steel Series. All right, so from what I can tell, Steel Series is one of the last companies involved to comment on it. I didn't see any formal comment from Cyber PC or whatever their name was. They did get their name off the website, but uh, I'm not totally sure if I missed it. But regardless, this is close to the end of the timeline now. Our statement on Bully Hunters. Bully Hunters pitched us with a simple idea. Let's work together to fight online harassment, period. And because we believe that's a noble cause, we supported it. Can you start a sentence with the word and? I don't know. It's not clear we didn't do a good job in understanding exactly what we were supporting, and we are sorry for that. The way Bully Hunters represented the gaming community was wrong and disingenuous. Most gamers don't experience harassment, and more importantly, 99% of gamers do not do the harassing. Is that another well-vetted statistic, like the 800 million women who have suffered harassment? I'm not sure. We are well aware of the many faults with the Bully Hunters. We hear you guys, and we agree. To clear things up, Bully Hunters was not a viral campaign stage managed by us, but it was a viral, attempted viral, just not for the right reason campaign. We all know that, Steel Series. We did not hire a marketing agency to create it. We didn't have anything to do with its execution, content, or messaging. And more importantly, we would never have taken advantage of an issue like bullying to sell hardware. They simply asked us to supply some headsets, support the call for positive change, and we did. Although we still believe in a world where harassment isn't, we still believe in a world where harassment isn't tolerated, it's clear to us that Bully Hunters is hurting, not helping the cause. On Friday, we ended our support and partnership with the organization. We apologize to those who support our brand and expect more due diligence in vetting out campaigns and partnerships we associate ourselves with. Look, I don't want to you know, go too tinfoil here, but... It seems like everybody's trying to lean on the same excuse. Well, we didn't really look into it enough, but we let them put our name and we gave them free product. I don't, in my opinion, I think this is bullshit. I think all of this is bullshit. I think everybody who was involved knew exactly or had at least a reasonable idea what it was going to be. As somebody who has in the past on several of my YouTube channels seeked out sponsorship, I know everybody I reached out to would watch my videos, would ask me what the video was talking about. You can't just email some huge company like SteelSeries and be like, hey, can we put your name on our website and get a million headsets for you and then sell a special edition headset for charity? This is absolute horseshit, SteelSeries. I would be willing to give a break to the Diverse Gaming Coalition and Vertigear as small time sponsors, but the level of involvement Steel Series had, the level of presence it had on the stage, the fact that it had a special edition headset that was donating money to, of course, Hollywood's desperately in need uh, Me Too movement, uh, or it's time to stop, or whatever the hell they want to call it. Um, I don't know. I don't believe you. I don't think anyone believes you. And when the truth really comes out, uh, this is going to be a problem for you. And I'll tell you what, here's another interesting piece of information that I'm not sure anyone uh, has shared, but somebody reached out to me uh, with some information about the web hosting. Now, it could just be a coincidence, of course, but they said, hey, 
this whole bullyhunters.org thing that's going on right now is trying to make a digital version of hashtag me too. I noticed something interesting. Both bullyhunters.org and steelseries.com are both on AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, under the same cluster. This is a cloud-based hosting, which looks suspicious. Look at the IPs A record and A records. You will see that they are both from Amazon AWS. The domain bullyhunters.org cert and hosting is all under the AWS hosting platform. The records are public. I'm doing DNS queries and Aaron, who is lookups, AWS acts like a CDN, but here's the interesting thing. If I use a lookup tool where I can choose different servers by region, it comes back with the same endpoint at Amazon AWS, meaning the likelihood that that's from the same AWS account. I can show you how to do these lookups, which you did later. Of course, this is not hard proof that SteelSeries is behind any of this, but it does look like at the very least, the same firm is probably managing uh, their hosting. So maybe they're working with the same company based in Chicago. Uh, and this person who uh, shared this information with me owns a hosting company. So they were at least reasonably um, trustworthy. Uh, again, Amazon, you know, there are millions of websites hosted on AWS. I have clients that are hosted on Amazon web hosting. So it's not necessarily, you know, that crazy. But when they come down to the same cluster, uh, that means it could be a part of the same hosting package. Now, all that could indicate is that they both use the same company to manage their marketing, which is possible. But the more and more I look into this, I'm wondering about this digital marketing company down in Chicago, if they didn't get some anonymous donation or something, this money is coming from someone and not everybody is telling the truth. Now let's look at yet another rat fleeing the ship. If you guys didn't know, uh, I've been a part of um, helping this campaign called Bully Hunters. <laughs> oh, we know. For a while now, I've been working on consulting for the campaign. Um, since October is when I was first reached out to. This is important here too. What we know now is at minimum, this has been in place or in planning for at least six months. Given the level of production, organizing all those sponsorships, writing the script, I think it's safe to assume it could have been going on in planning stages for almost a year. And yet I'm supposed to believe that nobody asked any questions. None of these sponsors had any questions or did anything. They just gave them free product and let them use their name to promote and promoted the videos, but never asked any questions. Uh, um, and I'm going to clear something up because I noticed in the statement by Steel Series made on their Facebook page, um, they said that they didn't have any, any uh, hand in picking the talent and stuff when it was actually Steel Series person who connected me with them as a consultant. Ooh, spicy! There we go. It's all coming together now, Steel Series, and it doesn't look good for you. Um, from the very beginning, and they were as much of a consultant as I was in this whole process. All right, so what we now know is at absolute minimum, Steel Series is trying to downplay their involvement with the Bully Hunters disaster. And it's not surprising at all. I think all the um, circumstantial evidence, all of the anecdotes seem to point at them having a, a minimum, a much bigger role in what is probably one of the cringiest campaigns I've seen ever. Now, I doubt that they did this to sell headphones. What I think they did it for is more feminism uh, or more allies. Somebody up there, somebody in charge got behind this and used their brand to or their clout to bring together people and other brands to get behind this thing. And somewhere there's somebody or a few people that People at Diverse Gaming and Vertigear and uh, anybody else really involved in this is really pissed off at right now. Uh, we're left to either assume that uh, whoever organized bullyhunters.org trademark uh, was completely lying to everybody or now that or three major companies are now 
telling the truth that they were lied to or they're lying about being lied to. Either way, it's hilarious. It's produced some of the best memes out there, some of the best videos out there. I hope you enjoyed this video here on uh, uh, Snowy Monday, at least here in Wisconsin. And uh, please no bully. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, make sure you subscribe and take a moment to turn on notifications. If you want to support the cause of this channel, it survives because of the amazing generosity of those that choose to back me on Maker Support. The link is in the description and hopefully you'll consider backing today.